What happened when an army of pirates threatened Yoda? Let's face it, Yoda wasn't exactly the most dangerous or imposing Jedi at first glance. Those in the Order that knew the great power he was capable of were rightly respectful of the age-old master, but to those who didn't, he was nothing more than a short, old, green man. And it was just that sort of ignorance that got a group of murderous pirate outlaws in a lot of trouble. When they threatened the life of a young boy, this happened during the twilight of the Old Republic, well before the Clone Wars and the Rebellion. The galaxy was a very different place. The Order was more covert and stayed in the shadows. However, this meant that rogue factions and far-reaching planets knew nothing but lawlessness as they exerted their power over the helpless. One such example of this unfolded on a faraway planet ruled by an army of dangerous pirates. They had discovered and captured a young Force-sensitive boy. The boy sat terrified and alone. He was in a cage surrounded by dastardly criminals and mercenaries. Their leader spoke, and the decrepit Denji Hall seemed to slither as the pirates moved about. But then they heard a noise. A ship had landed outside. Convinced it was a Jedi come to rescue the boy, there was a sense of dread in the air. Though the pirates knew they could outnumber whoever attempted to take the boy, their leader's main concern was their ransom. They had captured this boy and wanted to get their fair share of money in return. Known as the Fleshmongers, their leader ignored the boy's pleas and quarries, as he figured how much he would be worth to those who wanted him. The door opened to the hall, and sunlight blinded the pirates, obscuring their view of the mysterious Jedi entering their midst. It was Master Yoda. Once the pirates got a look at the revered Jedi, they burst out laughing. This? This is a Jedi, a pirate mocked from the crowd. As Master Yoda stood in the doorway, stone-faced and patient, he made it clear that he was there for one thing, to rescue an innocent child. Hmm, find this humorous I do not. Come for the boy I have. The fleshmonger leader remained stern that the boy, who Yoda said must come with him to Coruscant to begin Jedi training, was worth a significant amount of compensation. Yoda, just as stern yet calm, made it clear that money was of no concern to the Jedi, and should not enter the situation. Unwilling to hear out the voice of reason, the fleshmonger leader saw the only next logical course of action to be violence. As he instructed his gang to dismember the Jedi, Guards, tear his head off and send it back to Coruscant! Though now confronted by a horde of much taller criminals, with much more brute strength, Yoda remained undeterred. Rather, he offered them something, as he said, that was more precious than wealth. As he reached out his clenched, three-fingered hand, the slowly approaching pirates slowed down to a complete halt, as they quickly realized they couldn't move. Using the Force, Yoda controlled the arms of two of the closest pirates to lift and suddenly beat each other. Disoriented and confused, they became a living example of an old Jedi proverb, only more violence does violence beget. As the two squabbling pirates continued to unwillingly fight each other, Yoda effortlessly levitated them out of the hall as more marauders approached. Again, the Jedi Master made it clear, he was here for nothing but the Force-sensitive boy. Yet the pirates kept threatening Yoda. With nearly the entire population of the hall ganging up on him, he remained motionless. As the two previously dispatched pirates stumbled outside, Soon after, in what must be expected to have been the result of a great, heroic display of power, the hall lay motionless, with the many bodies of the fleshmonger gang laying neutralized on the ground. As he extended his hand through the cage bars, Yoda rescued the frightened young Force user, completing his mission. Unfortunately, having to resort to violence in the process. Initially unsure whether to trust the Jedi and go with him, the young boy slowly realized that it was okay. Leaving the cage, the boy, named Lo, walked with Yoda out of the criminal hove and towards the safety of Yoda's starfighter. It was a strange thought to think there were some that didn't already know the power and presence of Master Yoda. A constant throughout many significant eras of the Jedi, his reputation as the most powerful in the Order was well deserved, and a notion known throughout the civilized areas of the galaxy. So, the Fleshmongers being ignorant to his power and presence was not only amusing, but a damning decision by the pirates. 
Either way, with Yoda's age and wisdom, he knew not to be phased or bothered by this. Lo's savior was a promising sign that the Jedi were still protectors of the galaxy.